Hey guys, what's up? So I wanna talk about my 2021 resolutions. And those ideas actually don't take any practice from you or from me, but they're super effective. So check out those five points. One, surround yourself with the music you wanna study. So basically, we get good at what we do and we need to pay attention to what's going into our ears. And we actually have a lot of control over that. So what I suggest doing, and this is also what I do, I would do a new playlist or delete all my stuff on my phone and just have like one playlist and one thing that I'm listening to. It could be a few artists, but all these artists would be in the genre that I'm trying to study. Again, if you wanna dive into blues, only blues. You wanna dive into jazz, only jazz. And not generally jazz, but specifically the language you're trying to acquire. So again, think about it as a language and try to surround yourself with that information all the time. And the idea is that when we're listening, we're basically internalizing information, colors, sounds that are very hard to pinpoint and talk about words. That's why it's music. What I do all the time is loop a song or an album. For example, I remember taking Night Train by Oscar Peterson, deleting everything I listened to and just listening to that album for about three months. But I'm talking about it all the time, like I went to sleep with it Literally, I listened to it 24 hours for about three, three and a half months, which was amazing. But eventually I was like, okay, now I can let it go. I still love the album, but I just wanted to understand, you know, to understand deeply. Two, making clear plans. As an aspiring musician, we oftentimes have these vague ideas and I would like to not deal with vagueness. I don't like vagueness. I do like clarity. And I think by being clear to yourself, you can actually make a lot of things happen. So if you're clear about what you want, for example, I really want to play in a jazz trio setting, guitar, bass, and drums, or I really want to play in a quartet, or I want to play in a duo with a singer, that's great. So now I would try to make a point for myself to play every day if possible with these people. Now, of course, maybe you can't play every day in a trio quartet, so maybe two, three times a week, whatever is possible. And I would be clear about it again from even a scheduling perspective. I would call and text people and be like, hey man, or hey girl, what are you doing in two weeks from now at 4 p.m.? Let me block these two hours and schedule these things. Now, I know now we're still in kind of COVID world, so everything is trickier, but I think that is a very helpful point for us to do. Three, live shows. There is actually no substitution to seeing live music. We just register that information much, much deeper in our system. So I know now it is again COVID times and it's tricky to see live shows, but what I would do is first, when it's not COVID, go to see shows as much as you can. Make a point to see a show at least twice a week. Again, sit up front, look at that guitar player, check out the singer, absorb the small details, the, the information of how they're going about things, because we really learn by watching. So now, okay, you can go to see live shows, clearly. What we can do is turn off the light, put our headphones in, and listen deeply as if we're in a concert. So just dive in and try to really absorb as much information from the show, and maybe try to get like a live show of the artist that you love and absorb and see what they're doing. If it's with the instrument, the vibe, how do they communicate to the audience? How do they communicate with each other? You know, there's just a lot of stuff that is really hard to talk about, but when we see it, we learn. Four, sing. Even if you're not a singer, it's super important to sing. And I'm not talking about singing opera. I'm just talking about matching your voice to some sound. So you can listen to your playlist, you can listen to the radio, you can sing along, but I think we need to have a lot of vocal control. The more, the better. And of course, if you're digging it and you're loving it, I would also be inclined to do some exercises with your voice, like scales and different things like that. You know, it's an instrument that is very, very helpful. If we can hear it, and we can sing it, we can definitely play it. So it's a very strong step and it's something that we can do just by kind of like reminding ourselves to be conscious of. So when we're hearing a song, we're like, oh, I'm gonna sing along, not just let it be. Five, 
writing music. Writing original music is super, super helpful to progress. And I think a lot of times for myself, I was just in a place that I didn't feel comfortable. I said, well, what do I have to contribute to the world? You know, why do I need to write music? There's so much great stuff. But the truth is, it's for us, it's really to understand and to tag the information. Because when we're writing, we're basically listening very deeply to this sort of sounds and world of, of colors. And then by doing that, we actually get better and stronger. I feel with music, there's always this like kind of crossroads when you listen to something. It just like kind of goes like this way or this way. And you always have these choices. So by writing, we're kind of establishing those crossroads and making it clear to ourselves of what are the options? Where can I go from this note to this note, this chord to this chord? And of course, there are many, many options, but we start understanding and tagging the information. And I think this is a very, very deep and important thing to do. I hope this was helpful for you guys. These are things that I think about all the time. And sometimes, you know, we can get better at music, at guitar, at any instrument, just by making clear decisions. That's why I like these like 2021 resolution. And of course, it's something that I'm working on and doing for years. And I think it's super helpful to just be aware. And even when I'm talking about it, I'm like, oh, I kind of want to change my playlist. You know, so just, just let's do it. Let's make it happen. Thanks so much for listening, guys. I'll see you very soon. Peace.